Hello, good morning to everyone and welcome to another episode of our morning reflection. It's Wednesday, December 23 and we have 8 remaining days for December 2020 to be over and we'll be facing another year 2021. And as always, I hope that all of you are in good shape. You are doing well and ready to face the challenges of the day. And for our reflection this morning, I'll be sharing to you about what the Bible says about true and false prophets. So let's dive in into the Word of God in order to see what the Bible has to say about true and false prophets. So the first question is, will there be both true and false prophets in the last days? Well, in Matthew 24, 11, it says, And many false prophets shall arise and shall deceive many. Many here means the majority. And Acts 2, 17, it says, And it shall come to pass in the last days, saith the Lord, I will pour out my spirit upon all flesh, and your sons and daughters shall prophesy. So the answer is yes, there will be both true and false prophets in the end time but the false prophets will outnumber the true prophets the scripture also teach that the prophets can be either men or woman <coughs> <coughs> sorry <coughs> so the next uh, question that we have to address are miracles definite evidence of a true prophet well, in Revelation 16, 14, it says, For there are many spirits of devils working miracles. The devil is supernatural. It can also perform miracle. And he will go forth to the kings of the earth and of the whole world to deceive them. So the devil, devil is very clever and very active in the last days that he will not only deceive ordinary people but will deceive the kings of the earth meaning to say the presidents the prime ministers of the different nations of the earth he will be the they will be the object also of deception of the devil so the answer are miracles definite evidence of a true prophet the answer is no Miracles are not proof that someone is a true prophet. They prove only one thing. And what is that? Supernatural power. But supernatural power may come either from God or from Satan. That is why the Lord tells us, Believe not every spirit, but try the spirits whether they are of God. Because many false prophets are gone out into the world. That is found in 1 John 4, one. So, what is the most important test of the prophet? So first is in Isaiah <coughs> Isaiah 8.20 <coughs> It says To the law and to the testimony If they speak not according to this word It is because there is no light in them The expression law and testimony Was an Old Testament expression of the, Bi of the Bible If they don't go by what the Bible says Then they are a false prophet in other words, a message from someone who claims to have a prophetic utterance from God must be compared with what the Bible says. We must test the prophet by the Bible and not the Bible by the prophet. Any true prophet of God will always agree, not 80%, 90%, but 100% with the scripture. And this is the first true test. So... <clears throat> What is the second counsel? Whose counsel do we reject when we reject the words of a true prophet? So if we reject the counsel of a true prophet, what counsel are we are we following? In uh, Luke 7, 28 to 30, there is not a greater prophet than John the Baptist. And all the people that heard him and the publicans justified God, but the Pharisees, the learned people, the religious people, the very people.
people whom God entrusted to him, the, to them, the, the words of God. But the Pharisees and lawyers, they rejected the counsel of God against, against themselves. So, when we reject the words of a true prophet, we reject the counsel of God. A solemn thought. The Bible tells us to listen to God's prophets. So, what is the second test of a true prophet? In 1 John 4, 2, Hereby, hereby know ye the Spirit of God. Every spirit that confesses that Jesus is come in flesh is of God. A prophet of God must acknowledge and teach the truth that Jesus Christ, that He was God in human form. If they don't teach that principle, that uh, teaching, we know that they are not from the Spirit of God. True prophets must also exalt Jesus, not themselves. Some prophets perform miracles in order to attract people to themselves and not to Jesus. Most false prophets seek to draw attention away from God's word and to their own ideas. And the third test, what is the third test of a true prophet? Matthew 7:16, Ye shall know them by their works, meaning by their fruits. This does not mean that the prophet will be perfect. God's prophet will always have faults. God's prophets have always had faults. However, there must be consistency between true prophets teach uh, what the true prophet teach and the lives they live. So meaning to say their words will conform to the things that they are doing. So, if they uh, say something and uh, do a different thing, that's not a, the work of a true prophet. So, you will know them by their, by their fruits. What is the fourth test of a, of a true prophet? Jeremiah 28, 9, When the word of the prophet shall come to pass, then shall the prophet be known that the Lord has truly sent them. Meaning to say that when their prophecies come true, then we will know that they are from God. A true prophet will not make false predictions. If a, pro if, if a prophet is of God, the things he or she uh, says will come to pass. However, accuracy al alone does not automatically qualify a person as a true prophet. Meaning to say, if the, prof if the prophecies uh, come true, but the rest of the uh, other indicators of a true prophet is not found in him or her, then he as he is not or she is not a true prophet but a false prophet. So accuracy alone does not automatically qualify a person as a true prophet. In Deuteronomy 13, 1 to 3 says, it warns us that false prophets can give signs that will come to pass and then use their influence to lead people away from God to follow other gods. A true prophet must lead people to worship God according to the Bible. If a true prophet's uh, word comes true and then lead us to worship idols, that is not a true prophet. So what are the three things the Paul command regarding prophecy? Paul has a counsel regarding, regarding prophecies. And uh, <clears throat> it is found in First uh, Thessalonians 5, 20, 21. First is, do not reject or despise prophesying. Next is, prove all things. And then the third is, hold fast to which is good or which is true. Paul says that we are not to despise, reject the gift of prophecy. Rather, we must test the prophet's messages by scripture and follow that which is good and true and promises that all who follow the counsel of a true prophet will prosper now finally in second chronicles 2020 it says believe the lord your god so shall ye prosper believe his prophets so 
ye shall prosper. Again, Second Chronicles 20, 20, Believe in the Lord your God, so ye shall be established, and believe his prophets, so ye shall, so ye shall prosper. So, uh, I think this is all I have for today's reflection. I hope you have learned something and uh, discovered something from the Word of God. And uh, as always, I encourage you to please read your Bible so that uh, we will not be deceived by the false prophets. So uh, thank you for uh, sparing again your time in this uh, morning reflection. And uh, see you tomorrow in our next episode. God bless and uh, keep safe. And uh, goodbye to everyone. Good morning. See you again tomorrow in our next episode.